When we look at the pre-Islamic Arabian society, much like many countries and societies in the world today, we see a clear disparity which existed between women and men. In the pre-Islamic Arabian society, which was known as the era of ignorance, of Jahiliyyah, the Quran in history shows us many facts. We see that women were generally seen as inferior to men and were often treated as second-class citizens. Women had limited legal rights and were not allowed to even inherit property or own it in their own name. Female infanticide was a common practice where newborn girls were often killed due to the perceived economic burden that they would place on their families and multiple other reasons. Women were not allowed to participate in political and social decision-making processes and were largely excluded from public life. In such a harsh climate and environment, not only in terms of the geography of the land, but more so the culture of the people, came an illuminating light to bring the masses out of the darkness into the effulgence. It was in the small city of Mecca that a man was born that would revolutionize not only his society, but in indeed the entire world until today and until the end of time. That man was none other than Prophet Muhammad, may God bless him and his family. And the book which he would give to his community and humanity, which is the Quran, and the religion which he would promote would be the same as from his forefathers, Adam, Noah, Moses, Abraham, Jesus, and countless others, Islam. In the short span of 23 years or less, the Quran was able to transform the lives of the ignorant Arabs and would grant women unparalleled worth not even seen by secular systems today. Islam recognized the inherent worth and dignity of women and granted them equal spiritual status to men. They were created not for men, they were created for Allah. The Quran acknowledges the importance of mutual respect and kindness in, in marital relationships and emphasizes the role of men as protectors and caregivers of their wives and their families. In addition, Islam provided a framework for gender relations that emphasized mutual respect kindness and compassion and sought to establish a just and equitable society for all. And last, but not least, Islam recognized women's role in the society as mothers, wives, and caretakers, but also acknowledged their potential to contribute to society in many other ways. Join us as we launch Ramadan Reflections for 2023, 1444 of the Islamic calendar, our ninth year of this exciting series. This year, we delve into the topic of not like the other, women in the Quran. Be sure to follow us on YouTube and also on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, so that you do not miss an episode this Ramadan. Our content will also be made available on Facebook, Telegram, and other platforms under the name Islamic Publishing House. We welcome all of you this Ramadan to Ramadan Reflections. A time where we get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by once again engaging with his noble book, the Qur'an.